Good morning guys. So I'm gonna do a day in my life today. I am back home in Fort Worth, Texas. So I went back to the old Peyton ways and I invested in an actual physical planner. I've been planning things like on my computer, on Google Cloud and all of that stuff. And I like it and I like doing the to-do list on my notes app, but like there's something about a physical planner that's just amazing. So I got this at Target the other day. I also got these post-it note things. So each of these is like a piece of content that goes live on this specific day. Um, and I can just move them around obviously as I see fit, which I thought was kind of nice for an editorial calendar. And then I kind of have things that are color coded here. So I have like every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I have like an admin day and I have to go through and answer DMs and like I have that all on a to-do list now. Um, and this is literally the first day I'm trying this setup. So I'm excited to get started doing this because type A me, love this kind of stuff. So. Last night I spent some time editing a vlog, so that vlog is gonna go live today, so like that's my piece of content that's live today. But then like all of my to-dos are like film this day in my life and put together an apartment pitch for brands so I can partner with them for furniture stuff and all that, um, answer DMs, get ready for tomorrow's shoot, edit a video, and then a number of like other admin things. So that's what we're gonna do today. It's not gonna be a shoot day or anything, but it will be a nice admin and productive otherwise day in Texas. So right now it's a little bit late. I woke up at literally 10. Um, I work a lot at night. Like I just find myself getting off on a tangent, like editing or something at night. So I stay up so late and I'm getting up so much later during the day. But honestly, it's 8 a.m. in LA right now. So if I get up at a normal time here, or if I get up at a late time here, I'm like getting up at a normal time in Los Angeles, which for some reason makes me feel, feel much more calm about the situation. I'm gonna go get some coffee first before we start the day, and then we'll be productive. I always get nervous about ordering at Starbucks because I feel like my order is so just like betchy, but it's so good. And usually I can just put it on my app and then I walk to a Starbucks because there's not really drive through Starbucks around me in Los Angeles right now. Um, but the one next to my house here in Texas is a drive through which, bless. Also, this is about to be a lot. Welcome to Starbucks, what can I get for you? Hi, um, can I do a venti cold brew coffee with uh, extra almond milk? You said a venti, what kind of coffee? Cold brew. Minty cold brew and then what extra in it? Almond milk. With the extra almond milk? And then, um, and then can I do three pumps of sugar-free vanilla and one pump of toffee nut? Okay, what else? And then add uh, one stevia to that and then the cinnamon almond milk foam and that's it. Okay, anything else? That's it. Okay, right, five and nine. Thank you. Thank you. And would you like to receive today? Um, okay. Yeah, I'm good one. You too. Got it. Secured. Okay, I'm back. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wild animals. Hey, don't know about me. Faster, faster. So there's a million animals. Nope. None of them want to attack right now. Okay, so I'm back home and I'm about to start working. It is like 7 p.m. and I'm just. Hey! Can y'all shut up? Blue light lens is on. These are also linked to my Amazon shop. You can use the link below. Today is the first day on my calendar I have answered DMs. And I think I'm going to try to do it for like. 30 minutes, just go through and answer as many DMs as possible. I hate DMs. I do love communicating with people and understanding like the people that follow me, but for some reason, it's just like, it gives me so much anxiety. It's, I read something about the other day, it like came up on my Twitter or something, and it was like social media is an energy exchange in case that's like, in case you're wondering why you're so exhausted all the time. And I was like, holy shit, it is. I like it, but it's a lot of answering questions that 
are either super in depth with it, which again, I appreciate that someone would like ask me a question that was like actually important to them um, or ask me for advice or something. I'm really sure why anyone's asking me for advice, but stuff like that is nice. But I'm also just like, it's just so many unread DMs all the time. And every time I open it, it always requires me to like go do a task or find something for somebody or like really think about something before I answer. And it just like, it makes me nauseous right now to even think about. So I'm super behind on that because I have been avoiding those DMs. Sorry if that's you, I really am sorry. I'm just really um, anxious. Like okay, so I've been listening to the Skinny Confidential Him and Her podcast um, while I've been working. So it's just kind of like on in the background. I'm like picking up little tidbits of information as I'm working. I've only gotten two things done on the to-do list in the past couple of hours, but that's how it goes. You know how like each to-do has like 20 sub to-dos that need to be done to get the next thing done on the sub to-do list to get the to-do done? Time to make some lunch because I'm hungry as a fluke. Let's see, I've got some mango. I've got some eggs. So I'll do like a fruit and egg situation. I need a carb or more carbs. I'll have some of my cinnamon raisin toast. Okay, I'm making some scrambled eggs. I only have two eggs. So I'm gonna do two like full eggs. Normally I would do like two eggs and two egg whites or something, but working with what we've got here, ladies. I've got my mango. Okay, so this is the bread I'm using. It's the soft and sweet cinnamon raisin bread from Udi's. Gluten free, so I'm just gonna toast one of those. <laughs> I'm gonna put some salsa and seasonings on my eggs while I wait for my toast. There we go. I'm gonna put some butter on it. So we've got our mango, we've got our eggs, and we've got our cinnamon raisin bread. Kind of boring, but probably very good. So now let's go watch something. I like to sit down and watch TV or something when I eat. There's a revolution happening in the world of beauty. Okay, I'm watching Skin Decision on Netflix. I've heard a lot about it and I'm excited to watch while I eat. Time for some dessert. I'm having these smart sweets and I'm gonna have a little suja drink too. Okay, it's now 3 p.m. I've been editing video for hours endlessly and I'm not even like anywhere near done. So I love that for my sanity. But I'm about to take a little break and have a snack. And I'm just trying to figure out when I wanna work out today. And I need to give y'all a little life update as it pertains to my moving situation. So I'm gonna pee and then I'll get my snack and then I'll give you an update. Okay. Okay, so I got my snack. I was gonna do a bone broth, but then I saw this rice ramen noodle and I put the bone broth in it to make my ramen. So I feel like I needed something a little heftier for a snack because I'm working out today. But honestly, some days I'm so hungry and then some days, or like I guess I'm just bored sometimes and so hungry. And then some days I am just almost like on the edge of nausea. I'm not really sure right now what's happening, but I feel really nauseous today. I did eat some pretty nasty meals yesterday and like late at night too. Um, I had a huge meal of like fried chicken and gravy and um, some biscuits and mashed potatoes. And then I had some ice cream. So that makes kind of some sense, but I shouldn't be this nauseous from that like 13 hours later, right? Anyways, um, okay, so moving update. I'm putting it over here because I like it better. Okay, so I moved out of my apartment in LA at the beginning of this month 
and I ended up staying at Kelsey's house or her apartment uh, for about a week because she offered to let me stay there and then she actually ended up leaving town so I just had like basically her room to myself. And since June, I've been looking at apartments all around LA. So I've been looking in where I used to live, which is the Century City area. I was looking in Beverly Hills. I was looking kind of like Pico Robertson. I was looking um, in Sherman Oaks and Studio City initially. And then I started looking downtown, which is not a place that I would ever picture myself to live, but I found some unbelievable apartments there. Just like in terms of the price, really, really good for what you get, especially in Los Angeles. And I do want a building with amenities if I can get one. Um, I want Indiana washer dryer, I want all of those, like central air and everything like that, which is very rare for Los Angeles if you're looking to stay under like $3,000 a month for a one bedroom. So I liked some of the downtown apartments and I thought, okay, well, I'll use them in the July, I'd stay with Kelsey and then I'd come home. I've been home for like a week and a half now. Um, and I just thought like, maybe I'll sign a lease in August. So I went and looked and found the absolute perfect apartment, um, the perfect unit. I do love this one specific building downtown and I think it's the building I, I want to live in, but I found this one specific unit that I loved. It was on a really high floor, it was gorgeous. I put it on my story actually and I feel like so many people responded and were like, you have to live here. So I had, it's a two bedroom, so I had a potential roommate go look at it on Saturday, like a couple days ago and she went and saw it she fell in love with it too she was like i need to live here i want to live here so she's talking to the leasing agent on saturday about an hour after she visited and he was like oh shit like sorry this apartment just got leased like right now so she wasn't able to go in and see it sooner which sucks so we didn't get that apartment and that was kind of what i had my heart set on and it was going to be like an august early like mid early to mid-August move in, um, which would have been perfect because I'm staying here in Texas for a while and we have a family trip coming up in August. We're just gonna go to my grandparents' place in Colorado and we're just gonna drive a COVID-friendly family trip. Um, but then the August 8th move in after that would have been literally perfect. So I'm still in talks with the Lisi agent there about maybe a one bedroom and keeping us in mind for apartments that will open up within the next month or so. Um, I can probably stay in Texas pretty happily for a little while. I don't want to be in Texas more than LA, but if I, I'm not gonna sign a lease on an apartment and pay, you know, a few thousand dollars, a couple thousand dollars a month for something that I don't absolutely love. So um, I'm happy to wait it out and see what happens. I don't see myself staying here any later than September. Like, I feel like late August, early September is the latest that I would stay and I'd have to start, you know, making compromises in terms of the apartment search at around that time. So we'll see what happens. That's a little moving update. I do, I am still looking at other parts of town other than downtown just in case like some kind of unicorn apartment pops up. But like I said, I've been looking since June pretty actively and I have not found anything that I want to live in. Now, back to work. Hi. Where are you going? Glasses. Oh. Okay, it is now about 5.20. I finished editing what I needed to edit today for this video and I'm just gonna edit the rest tomorrow because it doesn't go up for another two days. Now, like I said, I'm doing like an admin day today and then tomorrow is gonna be a content day. So I'll, sh I'll film another video, like a sit down video and take photos and just kind of like focus on that all day. Just trying to like make my life a little bit easier and then the following day will be another admin and then we'll have another content day, another admin day. And hopefully, if I'm the luckiest woman on the planet, I'll be able to take Saturday and Sunday off because I will have done Monday's work on Friday. Do you see what I'm saying here? That would be a dream of mine. It's never really happened before since I started working for myself. So now it's 5.20, I'm listening to Skinny Confidential. Again, I'm taking a little break from boring work to do some more fun work, so like making selects for partnerships and stuff like that. Do you under, do you see how I'm trying to be more efficient now? I think I need you guys to be proud of me because I am lazy and I've been lazy for the past probably year. It's not like in my blood to be lazy. I'm definitely a type A person, but I've just been so lazy 
partly because of depression, which is a video I'm filming tomorrow. I'm gonna talk all about it. Oh, also, I'm not really sure if I'm supposed to eat this or drink stuff like this, this late in the day, probably not, but I always do anyways. I'm drinking this Celsius Cola. This is my new favorite flavor right now because it literally tastes like Coca-Cola um, because these help me so much when I go work out and I definitely need a little boost today because I'm feeling kind of lethargic from sitting around all day. Okay, the time has come, I'm going to the gym. I don't wanna go to the gym. I'd really rather do anything else right now, even, even finish editing that video that I started. But here we are, going to the gym. Got my mask, got my headphones, let's do it. So I took a shower. I had a pretty bad time at the gym today. Essentially, I just like got kicked out of the gym because one of the security guys was like, I guess just done with his job for the day. And in the middle of like a dead sprint, because I usually like do a sprint for like three minutes. So it's like a, it's really exhausting. I'm in the middle of a dead sprint and he comes in with like his flashlight, which is unnecessary because all the lights are on. And he's like, it's time to go, we're, we're closing down. And I'm like, I've lived and gone to this gym for like 15 years now, so I'm pretty sure I'm not closing down because this has never happened to me before. But anyways, he would not let me even like calm, like cool off for a second. I was literally in the middle of a sprint. I'd like jumped on the side of the treadmill to get off and see what he was even saying to me with his flashlight. And I was like, could not breathe. <laughs> and he was staring at me like, it's closing. We're closing, I'm closing the gym down. I'm closing. And I'm sitting there like, okay, I'm, co I'm coming. <laughs> coming <laughs> I'm getting out of here so so I came back here this when I did my workout outside I didn't get to finish my cardio today but whatever there are worse things anyways I'm making some dinner here are my snacks while I'm making dinner and I have this boiling this is Riley's dinner is that cauliflower yeah. um I'm using this green lentil spaghetti. I've not tried this yet, so we'll see how this goes. And then I need to make some veggies. We're good to go. The best sauce on earth. I've got my broccoli going and I'm gonna put this in it and then put the pasta in there. Okay, here is my dinner. I've got my veggies with my spicy sauce and the lentil pasta. So this has like, I would say almost 30 grams of protein in it in total, which is pretty good for dinner, especially right after I worked out. 